Now, the core concept here is to solve a system of linear equations by graphing. So, the first step you'll do is you'll graph the equation on the coordinate plane. Then you're going to estimate the point of intersection and then check by substituting into the two equations. So, in this first example, we're going to graph them. And so, the first one has a y-intercept of 5 because we're just going to use slope-intercept form. And then goes down to right 1, down to right 1, down to right 1. And again, we just continue that pattern and we go ahead and we draw our line. Now I graph the second equation, which is a y-intercept of a negative 1. And it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. And as you can tell, it has a common solution of right here. So we name that ordered pair, which is the ordered pair 1, because that's 1 on the x, and 3 on the y-axis. And then we should check that to make sure. So again, we'd substitute 3 in for the y, and negative 2 times 1 plus 5. That gives me negative 2 plus 5 is 3. 3 is equal to 3, and that checks. And now I go, again, the same. 3 is equal to 4 times 1 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 is equal to 3, and that checks. So the solution we found of 1 comma 3 makes both of these equations true. So this is the solution to that system. Now, these next ones, we'll go ahead and graph. Again, we're graphing using slope-intercept form. So this first one has a y-intercept of 3, and then goes up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Or we can go in the reverse direction also. And I draw my line. Now I'm going to use y-intercept of a negative 5. And then I can't really go down 3, right 2. So I'm going to go up 3, left 2, up 3, left 2. And as you can see, when we do that, it intersects right there at the point negative 4, comma, 1. And again, I'm not going to check this one, but that's how we graph a system of linear equations. Now in number 4, what do you think we need to do here? Well, yeah, you should put them both into slope-intercept form. So this one would be y is equal to a negative 2x plus 5. And then the next one, I'd have to move that over. So it would be negative 2y is equal to a negative 3x plus 4. Then divide every term by a negative 2. And we get y is equal to a positive 3 halves x minus 2. And then we'd have these two equations to graph in where they intersect would be our solution.